Well, I found it a great privilege to be in the last three, and I didn't dare um, imagine that I would be up here. And I, I must say that uh, the two colleagues who were standing next to me a moment ago have been uh, great examples of tremendous science in this state. So it is a real privilege. Um, the future for science in South Australia is very bright. As you've seen this evening, the blossoming of the young scientists. Now we get to the end of the evening uh, and you see me get the award, you're probably wondering whether this is the wilting of an old scientist, actually. Um, but it is a real privilege to receive the label of scientist. And, and the reason for that is the one that uh, Minister Portolese said earlier this evening, that science is one of the ways in which we improve our society. And not just our society, but other societies uh, where people are less privileged than us and less empowered than us to achieve what it is that they need to achieve. So I see science as having a major place in the improvement uh, in society. And to achieve that, it's really a problem-based exercise and one that has four simple steps. The first step is to identify the problem that really needs solution, because that means relevance. The second is to construct the solution. And what I recognised very early in my career, that no individual has all the skills that are needed to construct the solutions that we need nowadays. You really need to build teams. Be part of a team or build this team yourself to have all the skills that are needed. The third thing, in which is what science is very much about, is the objective testing of whether your idea really does work. That's a crucial step. You run the risk, of course, of finding that your idea doesn't work at all. So scientists have to be persistent and dogged and stick with the task. The fourth step in this fourth step process is the one that I think that tends to be overlooked and undervalued, and that is the translational step. That's a step that requires a different type of science, but the sort of science that makes sure that whatever it is that's been developed is both feasible within our society and acceptable to all those elements of our society that need to accept this. I make the point to the younger staff that I work with that it's not technology that makes a difference, it's actually the application of the technology. So you cannot divorce people and behaviour from fancy science technology. I've been privileged over the years to work in several areas of, of science which have progressed through these four steps and now reached the point where they've actually influenced health policy in a number of countries around the world and are actually changing how governments do things. It's been a great privilege and it's been really exciting to be part of that four-step process and seeing science being translated into action. And I trust that the young scientists that uh, are here this evening will we'll get to share some of the excitement and fun that that actually brings. So that um, leaves me um, really to just acknowledge uh, several people. Um, the first are my mentors, all of whom are old, so none of them are here tonight. Um, the, <laughs> The, the, the second is, is the Flinders campus, and by the Flinders campus I mean the university and the hospitals in the Southern Adelaide uh, network, because I went there to try and achieve the scientific goals that I set myself, because I felt that was the right environment. And that has absolutely turned out to be the environment. But the important thing has been, it's been wonderful people to work with there, who have really all worked together to make sure that we've now developed a wonderful infrastructure for South Australia, namely the Flinders Centre for Innovation in Cancer, because it's that type of multidisciplinary centre that really brings about the best innovations when you're talking about solving community problems. Um, the, the next person to thank is my wonderful wife, Joan, who's sitting down there. Uh, and what I would really thank her from is a wonderful home situation because when you get home at the end of a day after chaos, argument, egos, disorganisation, to get home to a quiet, beautifully organised, loving home is truly a great, a great thing. Um, and, and finally, um, and it comes back to this idea of multidisciplinary teams, we, we have only got where we have with all of this work because of the wonderful people that have formed parts of the teams that have worked with me to 
set up the solutions to some of these problems and then go ahead and, and do the research. And so I wanted to say thanks to the team, uh, many of whom are here tonight for the tremendous contribution they would make. And I hope that they understand that this award is really as much for them as it is for me. Thank you.